now as you can see I finished creasing these edges and I, I modified the position of few points few vertices so it can look better and I advise you to finish every uh, modification you would need before you create the copy of this and start connecting them to this piece in the middle so for now you don't have here something in in the back face so if you select any vertice it won't affect anything be, be behind it but after we connect them there will be too many vertices that can be affected so now we need to create a copy of this so simply I go to front view and I need to change the pivot point I go to hierarchy pivot affect pivot only and let me drag this pivot do it again uh, because we are activating the snap we're not actually okay right in the middle that sounds good I think okay now I will turn off affect pivot only and I need to create a symmetry of this object so I go to modify from modifier list I will use a symmetry modifier and that will be on the Z axis and I won't check the flip because I need it to look like what you see of course we have here some rotation we need to do we just need first to right click convert this to editable poly now let me go to element mode and I need to select this element go to top view by pressing T and let me just rotate it slightly and align it Do the same with this one make it as close as we can let's press T again I think this guy needs to be rotated more and then moved okay that's it now let me attach both of them to this object so I go to this object, I select it in the object mode, not in any of these modes now I go to attach and I press on this and I press OK now I have one single object combining the three pieces as you can see but still we need to connect these edges together and I will use only the target weld they connect vertices together okay so we go to now vertex mode and I will start by connecting uh, actually I con I will target connect this middle piece to these two on left and right I will show you few of uh, the target weld and I will con uh, continue on my own so this and I take this oops this one needs to go here let me get closer and this one will go here this one goes oops right here maybe we should attach it to this one so I select this yes that's it So now you will tell me that we have these additional vertices in the middle. What we can do, we can either after we finish 
create few edges using cut or maybe we can delete these edges according to our necess necessity so in this case I need to create an edge, an additional edge right here so I use cut and I will create this and I go to edge mode I don't actually need these edges So I select this and press Ctrl backspace to get rid of it. I will stop this video at this point and I will connect, uh, connect all of these vertices on both sides. And that's how we finish this piece. That's how I will finish it. In the next tutorial, we will create just the back piece, this only back piece right here, and this key so that uh, front part will be finished and we will drag it inside a turbo smooth so keep up with us